Hi, this is Matt Rechenburg from OpenQM Enterprise and today we would like you to show how to do local deployments with OpenQRM 5.0. Local deployment in OpenQRM allows to fully automatically capture existing physical servers or even virtual machines and to create an image from them. The resulting image then can be used for P2P and P2V migration or to provision additional systems with an exact clone of the previous captured server. In this video we will show you how to capture a physical server and after that how to redeploy the image of the server to a physical system again. The capturing and deployment procedures for local deployment in OpenQRM are based on an integration with Clonezilla supporting the Windows and Linux operating systems. We are starting this video with a fresh installed OpenQRM server 5.0. First thing to do is to enable and start the DHCPD TFTP and local storage plugins via the OpenQRM plugin manager. Next thing to do is to network boot a physical system in your network via PXE. This system during boot up automatically integrates itself into OpenQRM and will be available as new idle resource. To now capture this system we need to create a new storage object in OpenQRM. On this storage we now create a new volume as the location to save the image to. On behalf of the new created local storage volume, we can now initiate the capturing procedure by clicking the grab button. The system is now rebooting and executes the capturing procedure. Here we show you how to deploy the previous created and captured image again to a physical system. First thing to do is to create a new target for the local deployment via the image admin in the local storage plugin. Here you can select the hard disks to be used for the redeployment. After that we simply create a new appliance for our local deployment provisioning and start it.
The system now reboots again into Clonezilla and transfers back the previous created image to its local hard disks. Many thanks! We hope you enjoyed this video.